today we'll be working with tuples. So tuples are compound data types. These are same as lists, but the only difference between tuples and lists is that the tuples are immutable elements and the lists are mutable elements. So when I said immutable elements, it means that you cannot cannot add or update any element inside a tuple. So let's start. Now let's create an empty tuple. I'm going to create an empty tuple. In order to create a tuple, unlike sets, it uses parentheses. So if you had a parenthesis and if you try to print or if you want to know its type, just print the empty value and it's going to tell you that this belongs to the class tuple. Now you can also create tuples with integers. Tuples can be created with multiple values like integer, string, floats and everything. So I'm going to create an int tuple. So my int tuple is going to have one, two, three, four, five values. And if I print this, I'm going to get int teacher tuples. There you can see that one, two, three. I can also make make it a mixed tuple. So when I say mix tuple, it's just a variable name. You can name it whatever you want. So it's just a variable name. John Mickey point five. So now I have added integer integer string and float. Now let's try to print this mixed tuple. You can see that the tuple has given me mixed values like integer string and floating points. Now there's a tricky part. So if you try to create like uh single value tuple you won't be able to do it because if you provide a single value to a tuple it would become integer rather than tuple so let's test it, its type now single tuple type integer so in order to create a tuple with a single value you what you need to do is just add a comma after the value now after after adding the comma it becomes tuple you know sometimes this python thing is a bit weird okay you can also create tuple without parentheses so I would say normal tuple so if you are going to create a tuple like if you give it a value and a comma this would also be tuple. As you can see that it has given me the class type tuple. Now how to access the values of tuple? There are multiple ways but we are going to first use the indexing method. So let's create a my tuple is equals to one two three and John I like this name subject and miles what do we want to do it at a comma so my tuple is created now I want to access its value so I want to access the index one of my tuple that is two so the index on index one the value two is present so this is a simple way of accessing the value inside the tuple you can also use negative indexing if you want. So this gives you the last element. We have already discussed uh, indexing so you can use those indexes. You can also create nested tuple. When I say nested tuple it means that a tuple can consist element. So the element can be string, integer, float, any data type like a uh, list can also be a part of tuple. A tuple can also be a part of tuple. So let's see. Now I say one. And uh, this time I'm going to use Mickey. And then I'm going to add a list. 
like uh, 10, 20, 30 and I'm going to use a tuple with values x, y and 100. So if I print this nested tuple you're going to see that the values are there like this list has become an element of a tuple you can access the whole list and there's also a tuple so tuple is a, it's an immutable element you cannot change its value but what you can do is that you can change a value of a list that is an element of a tuple it means that you can change these values but you won't be able to change these values because this itself this item itself is a tuple next to tuple I have 0 1 and 2 on index 2 change the element on index 1 means index 2 is 0 1 2 and the 1 index is 20 I'm going to change 20 to 2000 and now I'm going to print this in order to test the nested tuple and I want to see as if it has changed the value now if you go here you can see that the 2000 has been changed but if I change the index from 2 to 3 it is going to give me an error and the error would be that the tuple object does not support item assignment now let me comment this code and use some operators so I'll go quick with this because you already use these operators concatenation and this asterisk which multiplies the element so I'm going to create new tuples so I would say tuple tuple 1 equals to 1 to 3 and then tuple 2 that is going to be 4 5 6 I'm going to create new tuple that is going to be tuple 1 plus tuple 2 now let's print this new tuple and if you print this new tuple you can see that the both values have been concatenated you can also use this asterisk which is going to multiply the, multiply the items inside the tuple so this this multiplies items not the not the tuple so you can see that the 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it has repeated the items in inside the tuple so now let's try to delete this now if you want to delete the whole tuple you can do that just simply use the delete keyword and delete delete this tuple now try to access the tuple and try to print this you will get an error that the tuple 1 is not defined you can also delete a certain item from tuple let's say tuple 2 tuple 2's index 1 means 5 so I'm trying to delete this so now you can see that the tuple object does not support item deletion so you cannot you cannot add an item you can update an item and you cannot delete an item you can delete the whole tuple but you cannot delete an item now we'll use some tuple functions let's say I'm going to create a handy tuple uh, which would be 10 20 30 40 and 50 I'm going to use count what count does is that it counts the number of times element is present in the tuple so 10 is present once so it's going to return 1 and if item is not present in the list it's going to return 0 so let's add an item multiple times to check if it returns the total number of times item is present in the tuple so you can see that the 10 is added thrice now let's comment this code you can also get the index of this so now when you use the index it's going to tell you the index of the first occurrence of the element or of the value inside the tuple so let's try to 
get the index you can see that 10 is present on the zero index so if I make it 100 now it's going to tell me the index of this 10 you can test this you can see that this 10 is present in the 4 index 0 1 2 3 and 4 you can also use uh, in function so let's say 10 in handy tuple if it is present it's going to return true and if it's not it's going to return false like 1 1 10 is not present there it's false you can also use not in so 1 1 10 is not present it's going to return true here it's true so so this was all about tuples so you would certainly need to use tuples while you will be working with python because tuples are used when you really don't need your data to be changed you if you want your data to be protected then you can use tuples